Hello, Camille. It's great to have you here. Can you say us a bit uh, about Bitfold? What do you do? So Bitfold is a next generation hardware wallet, which is developing a completely different approach to hardware wallets because we have a wallet, which is hardware wallet, having cold storage and actually being connected to the internet, so to the outside world. This is possible because of our patents and our free layer structure, free computer structure. Those free computers run on single motherboards and actually are being served by one just single screen. So it's completely new approach, completely next gen, and it's a life-changing experience for our users. And trying to put it in a bit simpler words uh, for our audience. Uh, why um, your solution offers better user experience than other crypto wallets? First of all, usually you need to connect your hardware wallet to computer or smartphone and then interact. Usually you also use very small screen to confirm your transaction. Also, having this cable or Bluetooth connection is not actually great user experience. If you want to have a great user experience, you need to look, for instance, at iPhone or Android phones when everything is on your device. Everything is directly from your device. You can use your biometric data to unlock or approve the transaction. Like with Apple Pay, you just uh, double tap on the power button, you, s you look at, at your iPhone and you're done, right? You just, with the NFC connection, you make a transaction. And we are, I actually building similar process for crypto transactions. So with biometric data uh, for a lower, uh, lower amount transaction, you can actually verify the whole transaction and the same transaction is being broadcasted to the network. Also, our device has NFC, Bluetooth connectivity, and having that said, we still have cold storage wallet because of our invention, because of our RGAP private keys that are uh, the, the wallet is kind of like a quantum uh, technology, so uh, the state is like a superposition. Of course, it's, it, it's not necessary using the quantum technology by itself, but it's similar state, it's similar uh, interoperability because, uh, with the uh, keys that are stored in the cold storage part, and never the internet uh, has ability to access this part because of our three layer uh, system that is using three separate computers and only one computer is connected to the internet. So uh, better user experience, uh, more safety, this is your key for success when you launch the product, but what, uh, how the current situation with FTX uh, uh, has uh, influenced uh, your product? So, f first of all, I w would like to also to refer to the safety, of course, because we are talking more about user experience, but actually safety is way, way, way more than any other hardware wallet. We are very prone and cautious about building device uh, uh, to protect against uh, side channel attacks, different attacks that can be done using uh, having access to your wallet. So if somebody stores your uh, hardware wallet, they can actually hack into the secure element and some hardware wallets doesn't doesn't necessarily even have a very protected secure elements. They are often even not secure at all. So it's not not safety that we deserve, and not safety that is needed for self custody. So going back to the FTX story, I think everybody knows now. By now, I I think they should know back in 2013, 14 with the empty Gox right situation, uh, but. Even, even now, people started to, recently started to believe in exchanges, that they can store assets there. Even institutions or governments uh, think about storing, uh, storing their funds on the exchanges. But exchanges are places to exchange, to change, to make its transactions, not to keep assets there. So I think it's showing amazing... Um, it's showing amazing amount of information to the market that you have to store your assets on your devices. So, and that, but there is a, another trick. Storing is hard. So what we are building, we are changing this. We want to make uh, storing easy. We want to make store, storing uh, very convenient for everybody, even if somebody doesn't have tech background. So you can, you can look at, uh, Bitfold in the sense we are building our own operating system and our own hardware. So it's 
It's similar like Apple experience because they're building their own uh, hardware, they're building their own software, and that works basically. So this is our uh, approach also. So let's say treat Bitfold as an Apple for blockchain. That's a, that's a nice line. I will remember that. So we've been discussing a lot about the market maturing right now. That is actually pretty good what is happening because it's helping with more regulations, more you know uh, awareness of the users and so on. Um, and you said it is a time to build right now. Is that just you know a bit more a bit more less hype um, to do it in a quiet way? Um, so what is the future in your in your opinion in terms of to tokens on the market? I think the tokenomic will change a little bit. I mean, the regulations are definitely be there. The, in the US, there was executive order from President Biden in March 2022 to regulate. Basically, it was just broader scope, uh, ge general letter that uh, they, they, uh, they, he was asking many different departments, like Treasury Department, Energy Department, uh, to, to, to regulate, to help with building this legal framework for cryptocurrencies and the whole Web 3.0 ecosystem. So now it's even more push. Now Fed is more saying that we are, we are going to build CBDC. So the, the rollout is starting to, uh, that government institution will be more heavily in blockchain space. So by ha being there, of course, they first they will regulate. So that's that's 100% uh, percent uh, I'm 100 percent sure that it, this is the way, right? To uh, that they will regulate. I mean, lots of uh, people from our industry will be really against because regulation doesn't feel like our freedoms that we are having here or we are building. But this word, actually, if you want, if you want to have more adoption, if you want to have uh, more uh, institutional investments, actually, Bloomberg recently published data from research and they ask institution and retail clients will they invest more or start investing into crypto space when there will be regulation and the things that is not uh, obvious and I was stunned by this uh, research it showed that actually more uh, retail investors want regulation than in the uh, uh, institutional investors. Around 70% of people said that they will start to invest when their regulation will be in place. So actually, so, uh, yeah, uh, we want to have regulation. I, I heard uh, yesterday when I was discussing that uh, in terms of decentralized uh, markets, it's going to be it's, it's not going to be an utopia as uh, when people will believe in that. So to believe, they actually need to trust. So this is like a, also a step uh, forward, right? It's, it is, in a sense, sometimes people say it's step backward because we, we should have everything on chain or we should have everything made by, secure by math, by cryptography. And it is in DeFi, but it's not in centralized exchanges. So I think we don't need to forget, we, we have to remember actually that there is something like custody and if somebody is custodying for us they need to be regulation because they are acting like a bank investment firm brokerage house stock exchange they combine all the stuff that are actually illegal in normal financial markets traditional financial markets are divided by chinese walls things that are happening in crypto space are not possible in regular financial markets and actually we are sometimes making more uh, creating more value, uh, maybe not in the um, uh, general terms, but uh, as a growth, a growth perspective here, actually there's, there's a more value being blocked and uh, more young people invest in this crypto space than regular markets. Of course, it changes with demographics, but uh, actually uh, younger people will win this uh, de demographic war uh, eventually like always they did and also their investments. So, I mean, regulation would be here and that's why I believe that actually utility tokens uh, will be in the drawback. They will be uh, retracting a little bit and the future is for security token offering and tokens that are being securities and tokens that are being securities that are regulated. 
So the future are regulation of all of the tokens, maybe apart from the Bitcoin and Ethereum. And actually, Gary Gensler from SEC is saying that, that Bitcoin is not a security for sure. There is some discussion about Ethereum, but other tokens often actually are treated like, uh, like a security. What's more, recently there was a card case against uh, some, some token with SEC and the court, court stated there was a statement that actually it is a security. So uh, actually th there can be lots of troubles for many altcoins. Thanks a lot for this.